Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is the tutorials on plotting using Matplotlib in Python. Now in this tutorial, we'll be looking at an example wherein the limits of the limits of the curves during multiple superimposition are va vastly different. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the last tutorial, uh, superimposition of plots is it's valid. I mean, it's technically valid and it's actually very good and convenient if um, the plots share the sim share similar x and y axis limits for instance i'm plotting sine and cosine functions over here they have the same x axis but and they have the same y axis and the limits between the x and y axis are exactly the same so this curve this works works out pretty well on the other hand if i have a different function for instance the sine h which is actually the hyperbolic sine of a, hyperbolic uh, sine function okay and i draw this check what happens because of the axis constraint over here the sine function gets plotted pretty well but the hyperbolic sine actually crosses the crosses this boundary crosses the axis dif axis limitations over here so it does not get plotted properly only a small fraction of it gets plotted and the remaining thing just is out of the out of this region so it does not get plotted so to make that plotted what i'm going to do is let me just uh, relax the axis axis constraints Access constraints, and this is what happens to me. Now this hyperbolic sign gets plotted properly, but since the axis had to expand so that it can plot properly, the sine function actually the sine function values just got squished up to make uh, and as a consequence this looks like a line. Now the problem here is the aspect ratio of the sine and this sine function is is lost. This sine curve got lost because of because the hyperbolic sign has a larger magnitude okay now if you want to avoid this we need to make sure okay let me run this again to if you want to plot a sign as well as this uh, hyperbolic sign in the same graph same graph with the same aspect ratio same curve aspect ratios then it will then it is only possible if the x axis y axis for these two curves are independent of each other they can have the same x axis not a problem but their y axis should be independent of each other okay and that's that is what we're going to do to we're going to do now let me do, uh, change this as uh, cos again and then i'm going to let this plot i mean access to the constraints and I put this now it looks fine okay now let's for that matter i'm going to use this what you call as the twin x option over here this twin x option is actually applicable if the y axis is different for uh, the y axis scales or uh, ranges are different for the two a pl two or more plots that we're going to do okay so the basic idea behind uh, this entire procedure is that we're going to create a figure we're just going to create a dummy plot we're going to create a dummy plot and then separate the figure and axis objects out of this dummy plot that's the first step step one In step two we just replicate an axis object then create multiple axis objects as per as per our choice we can just create multiple axis objects as per, as per our choice and then after doing that We'll use the axis ob axis objects to set the attributes of the curve so that to make it informative and uh, pretty, pretty, fine. The you know now you you will understand this clearly as I mentioned earlier. Mention as I mentioned one step go as we go step by step. So I just create uh, created my x x value, y value, and z value. Y is actually the sine of x. Z is actually the hyperbolic sine of x. And I'm going to create these numbers, x numbers, and y numbers one, y numbers two. These are actually the, my values that I'm going to use to break break the x and y axis, x x x y x and y axis. So y numbers one will be used to break the x. I mean y axis one. Whereas this will be this will be used to break the second y axis. Okay. Now this is the first step we looked at. Create an empty plot. Create an empty plot. And from that empty plot, you separate the figure object as well as the axis object. Okay, so to create an empty plot and to that to make sure that you can create an empty plot and split all the ax, uh, I mean, split all the uh, figure, I mean, objects out of it, the figure and axis out, 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 out of it. We can use this command over here, pld subplots. Once you do that, you can actually uh, this this one over here will contain the figure object. As well as this one over here, ax1 will contain the axis object, and this axis is not uh, it's not spelled as axis, it's axes. Okay, axis has its own uh, has its own legend. Uh, I mean, has its own uh, set of properties for legend. So it has its own 
x axis y axis leg, uh, la label takes everything axis has its own set of uh, pro uh, pl plotting properties and attributes so that's what we're going to use so since ax1 itself is has is you know is self contained with all of it what we're going to do is that we're going to use ax1 and we're going to replicate the replicate the x axis we're going to we're going to make x axis common and we're going to create y axis a separate y axis and we're going to assign this entire thing to a new ax new uh, variable uh, object called as ax2 what this actually does is that this this line does is that to to understand this in simple terms it's going to create an another another axis object which has the same x axis as that of ax1 but a different y axis an independent y axis that's all you have to keep in mind okay ax2 and ax1 ax1 will will have common x axis and different y axis that's all you have to be, keep in mind okay it may be too confusing if i go in detail but this is this is what you have to keep in mind and now what i'm doing is I, since i can since i can use these axis axes to plot uh, two uh, axes to plot i can use them independently and if i use them they'll be working independently independent of each other so this will work perfectly fine and now what i do is i just call the i just invoke this axis ax1 and i plot the sign function in ax1 and in ax2 i plot the hyperbolic sign just like that and what i'm doing is uh, not only the, and uh, at the bottom of the program i have written this plot title and then plot show since plot and figure are actually global properties or is actually the figure attribute property figure figure object property uh, figure objects plt over here this will if i just use this it will directly correspond to the figure object so you don't have to worry about it this figure object is independent is common for is independent uh, independent of both the uh, axes so you don't have to worry about it so this will be uh, apply, applying that uh, attributes for both the axes together so this will give a common title and this will give a common uh, common show display them com in together so if we run this plot over here till now there we go i have my sign curve in my red red color and i have my hyperbolic sign hyperbolic sign in my blue color and uh, this sign curve car will is, is dictated by the axis y axis on the left that is this hyperbolic sign is dictated by the by the axis on the right this way we have we have achieved to plot two different we have ma we have made sure that we were able to plot two different curves having different y axis ranges in the same plot by maintaining their aspect ratio by use by aspect ratio this is how we do this is how we do a board with it okay this way you got it everything now in this video that's all i want to talk to you guys in this video in the next video i'll tell you i'll tell you all how to how to make this plot fancier okay how to make this entire thing fancier okay so that uh, we will get we will get as in, as in, as in good informative plot as this one so this plot is infer very informative so if i run this plot over here um let me bring the other one over i mean let me bring both of them over here so next next tutorial what we're going to do is that we're going to make this figure over here as informative and uh, as informative as this one over here without any ambiguity okay so that's all i have for you all in this video thank you for watching and i'll see you all next time in another interesting video till then take care